Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports. And uh, welcome to the Youth Academy career mode, or should I say the Academy. How are you guys doing, man? Nice to have you all in here on Johnny Sports 2. This channel has been p -p 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 popping like my peas. Uh, not, you know, like P, the letter, not me actually peeing is popping. That would be weird. Imagine you go peeing and then all of a sudden you hear popping noises coming out of your <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> How you guys doing? Hope everyone's well. We are now currently sat here. That might have been the weirdest intro I've ever done. Fourth position for the academy. Top three is a necessity. We need to get back in there. We were there once. We have lost our position. We need to get back in there immediately. And it's been a long time since we have packed and since we have gotten ourselves an amazing talent from the youth academy which hopefully in today's episode we will be able to pull off now currently our scouts are searching oh what oh yeah we're trying to sign a third scout aren't we oh yeah yeah, yeah. sorry i forgot uh we have 1.3 million right now we could technically get this scout who's three star three star but i'm thinking maybe i'll wait for four star judgment but then that costs me like 1.2 million. Uh, I don't know about that. I, you know what, man? I think three star, three star for the stage that we are in right now is just the way to go. We can't, we shouldn't necessarily go ham with the budget on just scouts only uh, for now. I mean, it's obviously our biggest investment, but if we can get promotion, then we can sign ourselves another big scout like this one, for example. So I think that's how it's going to go for this season. To finish it off, we're going to spend 200K on this scout right here. And of course, we have new countries to go to. Greenland is done. We now have uh, two scouts to send away. What is, what kind of what day is it today? We are currently on the 29th. Uh, we have one of the scouts looking for talents on the 10th. So sending one scout away right now would actually be ideal. So I'm thinking we spin the wheel again. Actually, you know what? No, we don't because so many people have been asking me to do this in the comments down below. You guys wanted me to find the next best American talent. So many people are watching us from America. That is my second biggest audience. So for you guys out there, we are sending the scout out. Curtis Glynn, the top of the top uh, of scouts when it comes to our club, is going out there and looking for talents now in the Americas. <laughs> now, um, I think... What I want here, I, I kind of want a goalkeep, goalkeeper. I got to be honest with you guys. I want to send him out to find a goalkeeper. If he can find one quick, then we can change it up later on. But I really want an outstanding goalkeeper for our team. So four star, four star, Curtis Glynn. You have found us some amazing players, especially Ferrara. If you could pull that off again, that'd be great. And this scout, I'm going to send away later. Uh, I don't want to have them on the same day. I want to have the scat reports spread out throughout the episodes. So I need them to be spread out throughout the month as well. So the next scat I'll probably send away um, maybe in, the, in like a week or something. Let's go. Going into the comments of the last episode. Here's one coming in from Eric. He says, if you don't like Lamb, change the formation to a 4-3-3 to attack with Chobotaro as Cam. You're right. So he wants us to go for this 4-3-3 attack. Thornton and uh, and uh, Mick Williams playing in that centre midfield role, um, while both of them can't really defend. Lamb is 28 years old. He's not necessarily the future of this club, so maybe we just go with Chobotaro and we just do exactly what you guys have suggested. Lamb goes onto the bench. I know he's higher rated than the other players, but at the same time, I feel like it's just the right thing to do. Or we could put Olison at Cam who, I don't know, seems to have a little bit more promise about him. Let me just quickly check who has potential and who doesn't in the cam position, because then we can go ahead and, and put some time into the one that has potential. So Chobotaro shows nothing. Janapolos, his contract is expiring soon. Let's just quickly extend this one. Let's give him 1.7K. That's a lot of money. Um, but So we can sell him on later on. Sorrentino is transfer listed. Remove from transfer list real quick. He has no potential, so he can stay on there, but he is our biggest talent. Um, then we have Olison, who is also transfer listed. He, uh, man, none of these guys have potential. That's a bit of a shame. Maybe we just put Sorrentino in there because 
I have been neglecting this guy like crazy, it seems. Because I didn't even know he, that he was in our team last episode. And he's a five-star skiller. You know what, Sorrentino? The disrespect has to end. Chobotaro, we're going to take you out. So, uh, Where is he? Sorrentino, I got to show you some respect. We're going to put him into the starting lineup right now. And that is now the bench. And Sorrentino comes in in that cam position. Minus five on form right now. Absolutely no sharpness, no nothing. But I think as a five-star skiller, he's going to be the most fun player to have in that spot. Five foot seven, San Marino, high attacking work rate. We just got to do it. I think it's just, it's just the right thing to do. Oh, by the way, there was a lot of comments talking about this, but this one's the top comment of the last episode. Uh, Brian Deaton says, Yo, Johnny, Lauritsen is having trouble changing to a winger because of his low work, low attack work rate. Once he gets to medium, he'll be able to change. Love the content, bro. You brought Joe back to, uh, to this game for me. Much love from the USA. Hey, you'll be happy. I sent the scout to USA. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, take a look at Lauritsen here and change his development plan to something that's gonna go ahead and um, have him go up in his work rate. So um, this one says attacking work rate high. It would go up if it um, would actually change positions, but I guess we're gonna go here and choose one of these. Bombardier, five weeks, and then he should have attacking work rate high. And then we can change him to a winger easily. As we get into the first game of the day, a quick shout out to the people that have commented on my so rare team. That is the game that I basically told you guys about yesterday. I think I'm actually going to be launching another YouTube channel because it has become such a passion of mine to be involved with crypto and stuff. So I am going to go ahead and create a so rare football channel um uh, i will let you guys know about it uh, basically what so rare is is fantasy football but with actual like owning the players items and stuff it's not like ultimate team so i'm gonna be diving into that one you guys have told me about a little bit of feedback uh, to my players i appreciate it a lot of people from netherlands have commented on fadiga and osterwalde and uh let's just hope those players turn out to be good i have watched a couple of highlights of games and I have seen that Fadiga uh, has been doing quite well. Uh, but most of all, as some of you guys were saying, was playing only 50% of the games in Netherlands right now. So hopefully we can see that go up soon. McWilliams, let's see how he's going to play in that role now. That pass was horrific. 4-3-3. Sorrentino, the disrespected man, the man that has not been paid any attention to is now in that camp position as a five-star skiller. I really hope we can get the best out of him and it can have more of an impact on our team than um, Lamb ever did. Have you guys seen um, Champions League football yesterday, by the way? Uh, if so, ooh, ooh, good attempt at a pass. If so, you might have seen that Barcelona got smacked around by Bayern Munich. I think Barcelona now plays Europa League, if I'm not mistaken, which is weird. But you know what? I feel like it could be a blessing in, in disguise because Barca has no chance of winning the Champions League this year. Not at all. But Europa League, if they, if Xavi can get these players to play the, the way he wants them to, I have, I kind of have high hopes for them to go ahead and do well in the Europa League. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. Barcelona to win the Europa League this season and then rebuild themselves in a better state next year. Uh, what are we thinking about that? I, I really like that idea. Oh, wow. We got out-muscled. Yes, Sané. Wow. Sané is stepping it up, man. And this team is on high press, I think. We got we to gotta have some quicker passing play to get away from these people. Sorrentino. Lauritsen down the wing. He's not going to get that. Oh, he is. Lauritsen near post. Yes. Lauritsen. The Greenland super talent scores in the first half of this game against Exeter City. Not giving up has paid off right there. Love that. Lauritsen with the number nine on his back. He is doing well, isn't he? Two episodes, two goals. Getting Lauritsen. Well done, pal. Love that strike. Oh, his shoes are nice. He has the golden boots. You see that? It's like black on top, gold under the, uh, under the boots. Ah, that looks sick, mate. Also, we were talking about the haircut. A lot of people said keep the haircut because he's 15. Um, I think he shouldn't have like a crazy haircut yet. So once he n once he turns 16, so basically next season, we might give Lauritsen a new haircut. Okay, so you guys can decide at that point. But for now, he keeps that young Justin Bieber look. Yes, yeah, Sané again in the perfect spot. Berardi putting on the pressure. 
Sorrentino sees Lauritsen down the wing. Sorrentino making a good run in behind. Sorrentino. Sorrentino. No. I I didn't know what to do there. I, I kind of couldn't tell. Man, that's very unfortunate. Good run from him, though. I got to admit, that was a great run from Sorrentino. Cross coming in. Harvey. Harvey. Five, on, five out of ten. Five out of ten so far for the headers. Sorrentino. New talent strikes it. And it does get deflected off. Harvey. Oh, yes, Thornton. I love that pass, Thornton. I love that shot. 2-0. The Academy ain't stopping. What a pass from Thornton in the new prize role in that left center midfield position behind Sorrentino. Maybe the 4-3-3 attacking is the way to go. Look at that pass from Thornton. That is his best pass so far in his career. That is for sure. By the way, in the top right corner, there, it always says take kick. I can't get that to get away, guys. No matter what I do, every single episode I record, it just keeps on saying take kick. Thanks, man. Oh, go on. Sorrentino, the lads are playing well. I've gone into the simulation for the second half because obviously we're 2-0 up. And I want to have as many scat reports as possible in today's episode. So here we go. This is some nice build-up from our team. Lauritsen holding on to it. They lose it on the wing. But I have been able to see that um, a lot of times when we were in great positions in terms of attacking, our players tend to play passes that are super unnecessary, even though they're, they themselves are already through on goal. Hold on. Oh, Harvey, big chance there. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, great run. Number eight. Ah. Wait, has he just given a penalty? We have a penalty. We have a penalty given. Okay, uh, Harvey. Last time, I think I completely bottled it. I'm going to go low power, yellow timed, 3-0. Harvey, two goals. Leading the line in terms of top scorers in this division. Harvey is getting it done for us, man. Love to see that. Not the best of penalties, but I went with really low power on that one just to make sure. Get in. Oh, by the way. Ferrara, for the first time in a long time, is actually up there. Dribble success rate, 94%. So if I don't mess this up, this might be a one out of five for Ferrara, which means he's getting closer to getting the flair trait, which he's working for right now. So that would be a huge achievement for Ferrara as well. Sani is on a... <laughs> he's going on a, a little bit of an experiment here. Harvey... What a ball. Uh, man, Sorrentino plays interesting passes. I have been able to tell so far. He likes to play it around the defenders like that in a pretty good fashion. So that's good to see, man. The game is done. A massive win against the seventh place team in the league, guys. This was necessary for us to get it done because our performances lately have not been perfect. But this is a big win. The academy is stepping closer towards the top three. This win is going to be remembered. We can't lose sight of the top three. Harvey has had a great game. Nice way of leading the squad. And Sorrentino, I gotta admit, has done well. And I was very happy with Lauritsen. And the new formation was actually quite decent. Good shout, guys. Oh, we have a transfer offer for Olison, who we are going to let go, guys. But we're going to negotiate this one. Um, I am going to be banking on Sorrentino. He feels good. He has five-star skills. I feel like it's the right choice for us to make. Um, but if we can get 450k for Olison here, 400k, I will take that immediately because that allows us to... I mean, if I kept it, I could have probably signed a four-star, four-star scout, to be honest with you. Uh, but then again, I feel like it's, it's just... I needed that scout right now. I want to bring in talents immediately. And look at that. Sorrentino is very happy about playing now. 59 rated. He is going to get to that 60 very soon once we get his form up. I have high hopes in him in terms of his, um, uh, what's it called? Like his development plan. Let's see what he's on right now. What is he working towards? He has a plus six already this season, which is huge. There we go. Four star weak foot. That's, that'll be perfect for him. Improve that passing as well. I like that. Oh, by the way. Ferrara now changing to a right winger. 50 to 58. Ooh, that changes a lot. Elias Ferrara, the cousin of Gianmarco Ferrara, who we already have in the team, is ready to join. 17 years old, 58 rated. Hell yes. 
What a jump. Plus eight, man. I love when that happens. I, I love that so much. It's the best thing, really. I like the fact that the, the game itself puts these players to the wrong position so we can put them into the right ones. This is a blast for me. So Ferrara goes straight onto the bench. Manning gets replaced. Here we go. The next Ferrara in the team. Left footed. This one also left footed. Quite interesting to see. He has a similar haircut as well. So he's definitely trying to chase down or he's idolizing his, uh, his cousin here in the left wing position. Interesting. Interesting. A transfer offer coming in with three hours to go. An offer for Cooney, which I will accept straight away. We had an offer for Giannopoulos, which I uh, rejected. But can I just show you one thing, guys? Mambimbi has gone to Manchester City. How amazing is that? Why would they sign Mambimbi, man? What are they doing? But hey, it's nice to see one of our uh, channel legends, Mambimbi, there joining Man City as Richarlison moves over to Arsenal because he realizes that Everton will never be the club that he was thinking he could push them on to become. But uh, around 459 million have been spent so far. The transfer deadline day is going to be finished without the sale of Cooney, I'm assuming. And now right on the last, ga last day, we get multiple offers, which is so annoying. Uh, because they won't go through and we won't get that money. Ferrara gets an offer straight away. They're interested in him. I'm not interested in letting Elias go. That's not going to happen. So we're going to keep him around. Generally speaking, though, a good transfer window for us. We have made some money and uh, we're going to use that to our advantage. New scout reports should be coming in soon. And uh, of course, the transfer talks have fallen apart, which is OK. But let's dive right into the next game, 47 points on us, two point gap to Bradford City and more than that to Tranmere Rovers, who we had beaten in the past, I think. Or no, was it the other way around? I think we beat Mansfield, but then Tranmere destroyed us. Hey, player of the month shortlist for Harvey. Hopefully he gets it. That'd be good. That'd be great. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just saw a message that said inform Harvey courted by Real Madrid. No, 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 no. We ain't doing that around here, man. He ain't going nowhere. Contract extended. If you want to sign Harvey, man, you will have to pay an incredible amount of money for me to sell him. And, of course, at this stage, a huge sale would bring us the ability to sign three five-star scouts. But I think we're all so attached to Connor Harvey now. I don't I don't want to make that happen, man. I really, really don't. So we'll see about that one later on. For now, I am against it. Oh, Bianchi has an issue with his contract. We can't extend it yet. So hopefully soon enough, we can do that. Mike Williams deserves an extension. We are going from one massive match to the other. We're up against Mansfield Town. We're first in the league, guys. Ellis Manning is hanging up the boots, so he's going to leave or uh, retire after the end of the season, which is okay, by the way. He's 33, 34, I think. Uh, so he doesn't want to play anymore because he sees all these youngsters taking over in this club and him going down from the starting lineup to the bench to the reserves now. Uh, but yeah, let's see how this one goes, guys. Good luck to us. I might sub on the other Ferrara later on and let the cousins play next to each other. That'd be quite interesting. I decided they are not brothers. They're cousins this time. Oh, and by the way, I just forgot, but I am now going to write down that Ferrara had actually above 80%. So we're going to go ahead and make it one out of five for Ferrara now. Solid steal by Bianchi. Go on, Thornton. Good run, Thornton. We have multiple players making great runs. Harvey is making the best one, it looks like to me. Harvey! Oh, wow. Decent save from the keeper. We could have scored a big, big goal right there. Good steal. Harvey makes that run. Great pass by Sorrentino. Even better from Harvey. And he hits the crossbar. Man, Sorrentino's passing is incredible. I love it so far. He is perfectly fitting into that cam position. There are the carrying the ball onwards into Lauritsen. Lauritsen in the center. We have Harvey. Over to Sorrentino. And here goes Thornton with space. Thornton with the space is a dangerous man. First in the league you are, but we are here scoring the first goal. Thornton, GG's man. Great run and an assist for Sorrentino. Look at his positioning there. He sees his teammate instantly. A perfectly weighted pass. And that's strike. On this level, in League 2, no goalkeeper saving that. 
Ed Thornton. Seven goals already, man. This guy has had such an incredible season from that center midfield spot. It's going to be a shame once we replace Thornton and Mick Williams in this team. It's, it is going to happen at some point because we're obviously looking for the youth academy talents to come through and dominate. But whoever comes in to replace Thornton and Mick Williams has to turn out to be an incredible, incredible football player because these guys are doing really well for what they can offer here. Oh, Sané gets beaten. Sané gets beaten by a cross. That's, yeah. Okay, so a couple of minutes after we have scored, they come straight back and score. Congratulations to Mansfield. This team is first placed for a reason. But I felt like Sané was left by himself there in the center. And this is what you get with this formation. Now, with the other formation, we had a CDM that would occasionally drop back and help in those types of positions. But with this formation, you have two center midfielders who don't necessarily help out defending. You saw them both watching on as Sané was left by himself in the middle there. So maybe down the line, this is not going to be our formation. But for now, it is. We'll see how, to, how it goes here. Harvey, decent pass into him. What is that pace burst though? Harvey. Ferrara, that's the pass. That's the pass now. Go on, Ferrara. Now near post. Yes, man. Get in, Ferrara. What a goal. Nice skill move around the defender. And then he blasts it at the near post. This is the Ferrara we want to see, man. The fast, the pacey one. The one that gets in behind. The one that can hold his own in the 1v1 situations. Man, well done. Elias is sat on the bench watching on as his family member is getting it done. Two talents from San Marino. No, three actually. No, 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 not three. We have two, right? Or do we have three? Is Bianchi from there as well? I think he might be. We have a bunch of players from San Marino, man. How nice is that? Oh, hold on. They might respond straight away again. This time, Sane has a little bit more support. Well done. Go on. Harvey again into Ferrara. Look at that pace from Ferrara. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. The exact same goal for the second time. At this point, you'd think that the defender actually knows what we're doing, but he doesn't. That was a carbon copy of that first goal. Incredible. Harvey into Ferrara one more time. Two assists for Harvey in this game. Two goals for Ferrara. He will definitely have a 90 plus percent uh, success rate this game as well with the dribbling. Uh, that uh, goal alone was uh, really nicely done. And the one before that was the exact same. So I'm thinking we're looking very good right here. Ferrara, 10 goals in 22 matches. Well done, buddy. You're, you're stepping up your game. I like that. And you know what? Attacking wise, this formation is definitely the way to go. But defensively, maybe not. But yeah, right now... Attacking is the best defense for us. Attack being the best form of defense. Now they're all out pressing. Now this is the moment where, where players like Harvey need to step up and get things done. Sorrentino, once again, Thornton. That's it. That is it. Both goals that Thornton and Ferrara scored are nearly exactly the same. This goal, once again, is Harvey to Sorrentino. Sorrentino to Thornton and a blast into the top corner. 4-1 against Mansfield. This is the second time we're beating this team in the league. Incredible work from the boys. This is going to be one where we jump to the result, guys. We will take that and we'll move on with it. Ferrara will get another uh, bit of uh, uh, success in the trade race. We will make it 2 out of 10 because I've had 0 zero interactions with Ferrara where he lost the ball in a dribble so I'm 100% sure he has gotten at least 80% dribble success rate in this game so we'll go ahead and make that two out of five look at that third in the league now guys and up against Barrow who are 13th we have been picking up some amazing amazing performances lately I just want to quickly see did we get um the player of the month award no, someone else got it. That's, yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that we could get it done, but hey, it is what it is. We'll go again next week, uh, next month with Harvey, but he is at least leading on the top scorers. Bahambula has 17, Maynard has 16. So that is good to see that he's up there. And Ferrara should be in the top 10 as well. He has 10 goals himself. So, but let's, ju let's jump in there. This is going to be Barrow. They're playing with five at the back, which is a formation that we normally struggle against. But with all these offensive players, we could be doing well. 
So let's see. The Academy. Can you hold on to that third position? Yes, you can. Corbin scores. Harvey scores twice. Get in, Harvey. Oh, scout report. Okay, first one of today's episode. Please, please, please. Someone massive. Someone massive. Oh, this is from Bahamas, isn't it? 90k. He does seem to have a decent rating, though. So I'm going to sign this one just in case because 46 to 60 is not bad. I'm going to sign that one. Andre Palmer. 200k in value not too bad could be higher rated in a different spot possibly okay potential as well we'll see um this one we're gonna say no to he looks terrible andre jones from the bahamas 775k come on yes man yes get in yeah i don't need you anymore let's go Big talent, Bahamas in the house. So let's see that talent's uh, rating here. Come on, I am very interested in this. So Ferguson comes in, a left wing back with good physicals, good pace. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not interested in wasting time on him. Are you guys, I don't know, 49? I feel like 50 is like the bare minimum at this point, at least with high potential. This one has really low potential, so we're going to let him go. But the other one, is going to be interesting. 62 rated. Four-star skiller. Oh my god. That is some rating right there, guys. This. Ooh. He, he's up there challenging uh, Lauritsen now immediately. Lauritsen, I like you, buddy. But um, if you don't change to a right wing and go up in your rating, it's not looking too good for you, man. I mean, this guy's decent shooting as well. He's a winger. If we change him... I guess I'll change him to a right wing for now. And he, we could have him challenging um, challenging the likes of Lauritsen, possibly. Or do I go left wing? Let me just quickly check. How many left wings, how many right wings do we have in the team? Because that guy is actually really, really solid. So let's dive right in there. Do a little bit of an analysis. Ferrara on the left. Dale, he's useless. Manning, he's retiring. Ferrara is a right wing. But he's lower rated, so he's going to be a backup on the bench. Powell is a right wing as well. I guess we'll have that man become a left wing and become Ferrara's backup. For now, he is looking great. So um, anything is possible. Lauritsen, if you don't go up in your stats, we have someone just waiting to take over your position immediately. And I think he will go up even more once we change him to a left wing. So be careful, Lauritsen. There is Andre Jones coming for you. We're going to promote him to the senior team. We're going to straight away put him onto the bench right here. Powell, I'm sorry, but your time is done. We will now have the talents Ferrara and Jones on the bench. We do need a striker, a decent striker backup for sure. That is necessary. But we also need that goalkeeper to hopefully come through from the four-star, four-star scouts. So let's keep up this amazing winning streak we're on. The Academy is up against Crawley Town, who are 15th in the league. So technically should be an easier matchup than the one that we just won against Barrow. Here it goes. Oh, no. That's, yeah, that's an L. That's a massive L right there. 1-0 loss against Crawley. I hope that still keeps us in the top three. Are we still in the top three? Please? Yes, we are, but it's close. Bradford City is right behind us here. Okay. Um, that Yeah, that's not ideal. The third scout is now going to be sent, and he's going to be sent to a very, very special country that a lot of people have been asking for multiple times. So let me just go ahead and do that for you guys. I will send this scout to... Of course, a very special place that has been asked for many, many times. It is, of course, going to be Jamaica. Yes, Jamaica is the place we're going to go for, guys. And I think you guys will be happy with that one. I'm just currently on the cheat engine, applying everything. So hopefully it will be going through. So Jesse Phillips, let's send you across. I want attackers on this one. So um, please bring me some attackers. Attacker. Yep, there we go. And I actually, you know what, man? I need midfielders. I have plenty of attackers. I can turn anyone to his striker if necessary to replace Harvey. I, I, I'm going to go for... Ah, uh, what do I go for here? Do I go for playmaker? That could be Cam, center midfielder. Yeah, I guess that's what I want. So go on then. Find me something nice, Jesse Phillips. Hopefully this is not going to be just Cam's though. I do... Now I'm going to go defensive minded. That might give me CDMs. That's actually what I'm looking for. Yep, that's what I'm going to go for. So is it Jamaica? 
Yes, it is, Jamaica. Get in. Sutton coming in now. They are 20th. We are going through these matches because this season is extremely long. Lauritsen gets us the win. Ferrara scores one and gets a red card. So we need a replacement in the, in the next match. But um, overall, we are up to the second position now. Get in. But lads... This is not done yet. Bradford City is on 54 points, and that would put us back into the playoff spots. And I do not want to be in there. I want guaranteed promotion for our team. When are we getting this next scat report? The big one from the big boy on a 29th. That's a long way out, but I want to have that one in today's episode for sure. I am praying for an amazing goalkeeper to take over instantly. For that to happen... We need to get past this game against Walsall, who are also in the second part of the league table. Sorrentino and Lauritsen get it done. If you guys remember, man, when we were simming games earlier on in this career mode, we were getting draws all the freaking time. Now, the boys are actually capable of winning games in this league, which showcases that the level of our players is ready for League 2. I love that. But Lauritsen right here, continuing his great form. He is scoring goals left, right, and center. Beautifully done by him once again. And Sorrentino, the center attacking midfielder, gets his first one as well. Congratulations to him and three points for the academy. The scout report we have all been waiting for. Yes! This is going to be the best player in our team. Kenneth Clark. 3.8 million, six foot three, not the tallest goalkeeper. But oh my God, yes. Curtis Glynn, you absolute legend of a scout. He has just found us, the future of the club. Kenneth Clark. I can't believe it. We have already done it. We have already done it. I don't need any of you. And I, I don't need any of you guys. No, don't, no need, no need, no need, no, sorry. You know what, Curtis? You are an absolute legend. So as I said before, once we find a goalkeeper, we're gonna send we're gonna send Curtis somewhere else. And we have already done USA. We have found our player. Let me see. What's your rating? 68. <laughs> yes. That is the best goalkeeper we could have ever asked for. The biggest talent we have found through the Youth Academy so far. Kenneth Clark, 68 rated. Unbelievable. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right here, guys. What a talent we have just found ourselves. He goes straight into the starting lineup. Don't even bother looking at him in the Youth Academy. He goes right in there. And that has sealed the deal for us in terms of going ahead and getting promotion for sure. There is absolutely no way we don't get promotion now. I mean, come on, man. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy. I think the next scout we're going to send out to look for uh, midfielders. So if you guys have a specific idea, let me know in the comments down below. I am so happy with what we have found right here. Clark is coming in and he is going to be our Superman moving into the future. All right. He is from now on Clark Kent. All right. Not Kenneth Clark, Clark Kent. That's what it is. CK. All right. He is Superman coming into our squad. I cannot believe we have been able to pull this off. This scout is a legend. 3.8 million is just out of this world. That is automatically one of the most valued players in our team, isn't it? Has to be. He is third now. That's unreal. Man, I am so happy. Yes! Right at the end of the episode, man. I am now so stoked moving forward. I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the future, guys. We are now in the month of March. We are approaching the end of the season very soon. We only have two full months of playing and then one more game in May. We are currently in a second position in the league. The academy is doing a great job working our way from the bottom of the league to the top. It's been some journey, but as I told you, the later the season gets, the more better players we will have in our team. And it is exactly that but yet that you're seeing on your screen right now. It has been a blessing to have this squad the way it is. And maybe Lauritsen is done with uh with the work rates so let me just quickly check on him 
Can we change him now? Does he have high attack and work rates? No, his work rate is still low. Why does it say six weeks? It should have gone up already. What the hell is going on? He went up a rating, but his work rates have not gone up. It's very close to going up, though. I, I need that to go up so I can finally change him to a winger. But um, yeah, lads, thank you so much for watching. This squad right here is such a beauty to play with. Harvey, 22 and 9. Ferrara, 11 and 4. Thornton, 18 and 7. McWilliams, 6 and 14. It's going to be a sad day when we have to replace these two. Thank you guys so much for watching today's epi. It has been such a good one. Take care and peace.